Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got a quick first impressions video for you. And today, go over the CRKT Pilar 3. I just got this a couple days ago. I didn't have time to do an unboxing video, so I've had it for about two days. I've carried it, I've used it. I thought I'd do a first impressions video. But <clears throat> here's the box. Standard CRKT box. Little plastic baggie came in. You get the little pamphlet. And this time it tells you how to spice up your, your MRE. Add a little salt and pepper to taste. Ask your partner to send you hot sauce. Use your M1614 SFG to build a snare trap. The season with barbecue camel spider. They're always kind of <clears throat> kind of interesting to look at. But yeah, so this is model 5317D2 Pilar 3 with D2 blade steel. So obviously I got the D2 version. Um, they do have an 8CR 13 MOV model. It costs $38.95. This one with a D2 costs $51.95. So you can go a little cheaper, get the 8CR model. But I opted for the D2. And this is the first Pilar model I've owned. I, I haven't owned or even handled the Pilar 1 or the Pilar Large. Hey. I, I kind of liked them, but they just didn't speak to me and those other knives I wanted. But when I seen the three, um, the longer, skinnier profile, it just kind of spoke to me. So, yeah, I finally, finally got a P Pilar, and I have to say it's, I'm pretty, I'm pretty surprised at this one. But yeah, <clears throat> like I said, it's the, Third iteration of the Pilar, um, Jasper Voxinus design again. There's the IKBS bearing symbol. Now, as far as I can see, it doesn't have the steel marking on this. I don't see D2 anywhere, and I don't think the 8CR 13MOV is on the other one. The only way you can tell is by this backspacer. This one has this bronze colored one, and the 8CR has a silver colored one. So that's, as far as I know, that's the only way you can tell what steel, what blade you got. But yeah, I guess, um, go over, go over the specs real quick and some size comparisons and we'll, we'll talk about this. So... Size comparisons. I'll try to put some up on the screen also. But you have an overall length of 7.25 inches. It's not a real huge knife. You got a 3 inch blade <clears throat> with a 2.75 cutting edge. The blade thickness is 0 0.15, 0 0.15. The height is this way is about one inch. It's actually a spear point. Kind of, it's hard to see with that swedge and stuff, but it is it is a spear point. The tip is right down the center. The center line is equal on both sides. Flat grind, almost full, it comes way up here. You can see the grind right there. Nice stone wash finish. It's got the Pilar Voxus, Voxinus design. Again, it's Jasper Voxus design. He designed the Pilars. Got the IBKS bearing symbol there. CRKT logo. Um, handle length is 4.25. Handle height width is one inch. The handle thickness is, I'm not sure, it's 
0.4 something. It's fairly thin. Um, G10 scale on the show side. Both stainless steel frame lock on the lock side. Pocket clips, right hand, tip up only carry. The backspacer does have this lanyard hole in the end of it. And this thing weighs 3.6 ounces, so it's got a little bit of weight to it, but it's not bad at all. Um, and the action on this is, there's a lot of good about this. We'll get to it. Do some size comparisons. Got the <clears throat> usual ones, a paramilitary two and the para three lightweight. So definitely a lot smaller than PM2. The para three, that's that's pretty close. It, they're, it's pretty close. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised how close they are. So, keep that up there for a minute. That's that's a good example. Got the full-size Benchmade bug out. Bug out's a little longer. Got the mini bug out. So, it falls right between the full-size bug out and the mini bug out. And do the full size Griptilian and the Ritter Hogue Mini RSK and they're awful close too got a little longer blade and a Pilar 3 handle including this lanyard hole the backspacer is a little bit longer and let's bring out how about the Civivi Elementum? <clears throat> pretty, pretty close. Um, line of pivots, tips up. The blade on the Elementum is actually a little bit longer. The handle on the Pilar is a little bit longer, especially if you add on that, that back spacer. <clears throat> Bring out some... My other CRKTs, I got the Squid D2 uh, Micarta scale version of it. It's a lot bigger than the Squid. I have the CEO, which does not ever want to stand. So, obviously, the CEO is a lot longer and a whole lot thinner. This one's 8CR 13MOV. The Squid's D2. Let's bring out the Ruger CRKT LCK. And the LCK, man, it's, they're pretty close. That doesn't want to stand. Overall, it's, that's pretty, they're pretty close i think the lck is just a touch longer and then my other crkt is the pete and i think these two go very well together <clears throat> obviously the pilar 3 is longer but i think they they complement each other very similar Similar design. This is a Voxinus Jesper Voxinus design, also. So you can see some similarities, definitely. Um, this is a nice little fifth pocket carry knife, 8CR 13MOV, FR and scales. Got the blue um, aluminum backspacer. It's cool looking. But yeah, I think I think these two. I think these make a good match. You don't need a huge knife for a primary, and you can settle for a three-inch blade, which a lot of mine are. 
that P would make an awesome little backup secondary knife. And I do carry this often in my fifth pocket. My jeans, very deep carry. So, I think the best matchup is actually the pair of three lightweight. As far as size comparisons. So, let's take a closer look at this. Like I said, I got nice 3 inch D2 steel blade, flat grind, stone wash looks really nice. There's kind of a spot right here. Um, that's a little, little bit heavier. You can see it. That's okay. Ain't nothing. Um, got a nice wedge up here. The the deployment hole works really nice. And you, you can open it. Thumb. First finger. Spidey flick it. That was a little bit weak. You can do ring finger. And I get just right. Uh, I can do the pinky. <clears throat> so I can open, I can deploy this, this with all five fingers. I mean, you, you can't beat it. Um, detent's good. You cannot shake it out. And it just rockets open. Drop shut, you know, shuttiness. It's not as drop shutty as some I've seen in different other videos. But, um, it's pretty close. I have, you know, it's it's my thing. I, I do have a tendency to put my finger on that lock bar, the frame lock. So I have to remember not to do that. But, yeah, it's not exactly, you know, it, it drops, but a little, little bit of a shake. And you can start closing it and just go like that and shuts nice g10 scales on this um or scale it's not overly aggressive but gives you some traction it's done nice looks good the other side stone wash stainless steel liner you know frame with a frame lock and frame lock works good Locks up good. There's absolutely no blade play. It's easy to push over. You can um, slow roll this thing out. But the G10's cut out just a little bit. And there's kind of like a little scalloping done on the, on the lock bar. So it's easy to... Easy to, easy to unlock. Um, what else? Talk about this backspace for a little bit. <clears throat> so, the D2 comes in the bronze colored backspacer. I don't know if it's bronze or it's just colored. It kind of, it feels like bronze. It doesn't feel, doesn't feel like it's aluminum like on the peat. Actually, yeah, it feels just like the one on the squid. Very, very similar. And you can see the pocket clips positioned in the same same manner, which they're both deep carry pocket clips, but because of lanyard holes, they're moved down, so they're not really, neither one are deep carry. This one... It's going to be about like that. You're going to have all this showing, which is okay, but it's just my thing. Put a deep carry pocket clip on something and then, you know, ruin it. Ruin the deep carry because you put a lanyard hole on it. But pocket clip is nice. In and out pocket, excellent, good retention. And the pocket clip is countersunk, and the screws are recessed, flat, so there's nothing, nothing getting in the way. Unlike, you can see the squid, 
the pocket clips on top of the frame and got like button heads to stick up. And that, this one actually works pretty good. You got enough room. It doesn't bother me. But this one, this one, they did the pocket clip right. You know, I wish all pocket clips were done like this. But then again, it's a deep carry. They put a lanyard hole on in the back spacer. Which, from the looks of it, you know, the aesthetics of it, I like it. I like the, it just stands up a little proud, but that don't, doesn't bother me. That looks good. So, you know, <clears throat> I don't care for lanyard holes. I don't like lanyards. I don't use them. If people like lanyards on their knives, that's, that's fine. I, you know, some of them are very cool. But for some reason, I kind of want to put a lanyard on this knife. I, I don't know why. The only lanyard that I have on a knife is actually technically my wife's knife, the Stormtrooper Mini Bug Out. And I got her Stormtrooper bead on a lanyard for it. And um, yeah, I, I just don't put lanyards on knives, but this one, for some reason, is kind of calling out for a lanyard i don't know why um don't really need it get in the get in the ergos on this um even back like this choke you know moved back i get a full three fingers and my pinky kind of locks right into that the cut out for the back spacer in the lanyard hole so that is pretty that's pretty comfortable you got to reach out a little further, get to something. I can definitely do that, but this thing has an awesome forward finger trial. I get my fat finger in there. Nice, still got room. It just, the ergos are just excellent on this knife. Fits my hand pretty good. Not exactly perfect, but dang good. And that pocket clip, I don't even feel it. I don't, uh, that pocket clip does not, I, does not bother me one little bit. I don't feel it. Back here, I can feel it. I'm, if I move back, I can feel it somewhat, but not bad. This way, I, I don't even feel it. So, if that was moved down, yeah. It might cause a hot spot. I think I, I would feel it was further back. So, ergos on this thing are just excellent. There's no jimping up here, but it's slightly thicker blade stock and it's flat and thumb, thumb rust on that, just, just excellent. Yeah, so the ergos on this thing are just super um overall i'm i'm really surprised by this because crkt um i don't have very many but it's like each one almost each one has had an issue of some kind and the squids this squid's fine absolutely fine as far as fit and finish the Pete, on the other hand, um, has always been off-centered. The, the inside of all the, the, the inside edge of the FR and scales were really, really sharp. I ended up sanding them down. There was a spot on the back here on the scales. It was really sharp. Um, well, this is a lot cheaper knife. You know, Teflon washers, 8CR, 13 MOV steel. I can't remember what it cost, but it wasn't much. This one, and uh, fit and finish on this is really excellent. Um, you go around the outer edge, there's no sharp edges. And the G10, 
go around the outer edge. There's only one spot on this. And let's talk about the only the only bad things about the fit and finish is the inside edge of the G10 is kind of sharp. When I say sharp, it's like a perfect 90 degree angle, so you can feel that edge if you're f feeling the inside edge of it. But in use, do not feel anything. My, you know, the fat of my hand doesn't get down in there. I don't feel that. That's fine. The only, the only other point is right here. That little point and the lockout for the lock bar, that is, that is quite sharp. You, you definitely feel that. But again, in use, you can feel that a little bit of your back. But you choked up, cannot feel it, <clears throat> which is probably, you know, I'd say 90% of the time, that's exactly how you're going to use it. Choked up. But if you're back here, I can feel that a little bit. But yeah, if you just go like that, you can really feel it. So I'll, I'll knock that off, a little piece of sandpaper. I might actually go over the inside edge of the G10. But again, this is a lot longer video than I wanted to make. But yeah. My, my overall first impressions of this, this is pretty awesome. I'm, I am definitely pleasantly surprised at how nice this is and how much I, I like it. Um, ergos are great. Actions, pretty good. Um, deploy it. You know, like I showed, I can do all five fingers. Spidey flick it. Um, funny thing, a couple of funny things about this, like I said, some reason this thing's calling out for a lanyard, so I don't know, I may put one on, I don't know if it's just the, the shape of it, and that, that being the way it's made, I, I kind of want to put a lanyard on it, um, the, the, the other funny thing is, I don't know. Some I keep trying to hit a flipper on this. Um, I got a lot of flippers. Not my favorite deployment method. And for some reason, when I had this knife past couple of days, you know, I I've seems like there ought to be a flipper on that. You can see the back of the bottom of the blade. It comes out. If that was a little bit longer, be a flipper. But I I don't believe I I just don't believe I was saying a knife should have a flipper tab because you know not my favorite means of opening a knife. I'd really have thumb hole or thumb studs. And I don't believe I'm thinking about pouring a lantern on the knife. But uh, other than that. This is a pretty sweet knife. I really like it. Like I said, I've been carrying it for a couple of days. Used it a fair amount. And yeah. If you're interested, if you like the Pilars or want to get one, haven't had one like I've, I've never had one. Yeah, I'd say check this one out because it's pretty sweet. And I'm definitely going to pair these, pair that up with a. The Pete, that, that's that's a good combination, but I guess that's it. Fifty one ninety five for the D two, thirty eight ninety five for the eight CR. Jasper Voxness design can't beat it. It's nice. You usually have great ergos, cool designs, and I guess that's it. As usual, you like the video, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And until the next video, bye.